Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Bolero Auburn in Auburn, Massachusetts. We are here for round seven of the NEBA Masters double elimination bracket finals. And this is going to be a loser's match, loser's bracket, or should I say contender's bracket, Stephen? What's your name? Stephen Major here with me. Hi. Bruce Hall. I'll say loser's bracket. Sorry. I, we we're not politically correct here. Uh, so it is the loser's bracket. Loser is out, and the winner faces Tom Coco, and they'll have to beat Tom twice if they want this title coming up after this. So we're down to the last couple of rounds here, and uh, Bruce Hall here with you in Auburn, and I wanted to do a quick sponsor read. First of all, thank you so much to our title sponsors here. It is Bloomfield Electric and uh, Roger Burrell, Tony and Susie Renaud, the venerable one. Tony was here today bowling, saw him here, and DJ's Pro Shop, John Zwalik. So thanks so much, guys. They had 3500 to this event, uh, which makes for a very, very nice price fund. So thanks so much to all of those um, sponsors. I would like to give a quick shout-out and a moment of silence real quickly for Bill Chrisman of our sponsor, Storm and SPI, and Bill passing unexpectedly uh, recently. And um, we had a moment of silence earlier for Bill and to Rick Cashel, uh, Neba Bowler, for the long time. So, of course, Storm, Rotogrip, and Global 900. Uh, 900 Global are uh, uh, key ball sponsors here, and thanks so much to Storm for all their support. Ace Mitchell Bowling Supply, Vinnie Grisan, Better Bowling Concepts, William Daly, Buddy's Pro Shop, Chris Forey right here. Obviously, we have the $10,000 um, Forey Memorial, a Paul Forey Memorial going on, and that the next round of that will be, I believe, in Somerset, right, Stephen? Does that sound right? Yes. Yeah, so coming up in Somerset, uh, October 22nd, that morning squad, you're going to want to be on that squad if you're still in the Forey. There are 48 of us left, and I know because I'm one of them, so I will definitely be there. October 21st is the youth event with DJBT. Uh, in Somerset as well. So those two are coming up. Um, Cambridge Credit Counseling, Chris Vialli, 3500 to the CCCI. And don't forget the Megabucks tournament coming up over Thanksgiving. He's got $60,000 of added money into that event. So don't forget, eat your turkey, then head over to Chicopee. It is going to be a hell of a weekend. $60,000 added money to the Thanksgiving Megabucks tournament northeast megabucks thanks so much chris for driving that forward and uh, what a great tournament that's going to be uh, this year uh, logo infusion kenny keegan they they supply all of our championship shirts and uh somebody had one on earlier uh oh yeah aaron major has one on right now actually our new championship shirts are beautiful strike fx pro shops john van he's john is our first vice president right now and we'll be electing a second vice president at the annual meeting coming up in december Chris Sand, Turbo Grips, Tech Vision, Bruce Hall, you're listening and watching a Tech Vision production. Yankee Lanes, both Keene and Manchester, Jeff Barden, he upped his uh, contr contributions to those events. It was two, three, two, I can't even add it up. It was 1,500 for each of the women and the seniors. And then I think it was another 2,000 he added to the singles event up in Manchester last month. And then, of course, all the, the added money for Keene. So thanks so much. Jeff Barden, Bullwinkle's Pro Shop, Rich Reynolds, Savage Arms, Al Casper, Callahan's Bolarama. We had a great time down in uh, Callahan's, didn't we, uh, Stephen? 341 entries. It was good to see. For our 1,000th tournament. Good to see. That was amazing. And uh, 5,500 total money added by those folks. DJs, we mentioned, John Zawalik, he's been here today. Many Styles of Bowling, LaRue Marlowe, GMS Concrete, Clay Schwartz, Dexter, Paul Sylvia, KR Strike Force, Tony Mendiola. Grog, Monster Sports, Greg Flamond, East Coast Sports Investors, Jeff Dawson, Ideal Bowling Concepts, Keith Lang, DJBT, we mentioned Jeff Purchase. Uh, his son, Nate Purchase, just shot six, I, I forgot what it was. I'll, I'll come back to it, but it was, it was a stunningly car, car, crazy score for six turn, six games out of the PBA tournament out in the Midwest. Amazing. Uh, UseBowlingBalls.com, Mitchell Pincus, and, of course, Island Bowling Supply, Joe Farley um, and Peter Hakem. And this will be an event where if we, if you go ahead and um, like and share the feed, not this round, but the next round, which will be either one or two games, it will be one more round, but either one or two games, then you will be entered automatically into a random drawing for one of two bowling balls selected by Island Bowling Supply. You give us the weight and you give us your address, and you will get sent a new bowling ball. So 
please like and share the feed. Not this round. Well, certainly do it for this round, but this isn't the round it'll be picked. It will be next round. So now with the sponsor feed out of the way, Stephen, we can get on to the match. And here we are with, and I have been informed that I have been saying his name wrong, so many apologies to Anthony. It's his own, you said it was only his second Neba. This is Anthony De Robertis, right, instead oh. of De Roberts. <laughs> Anthony, Dialect. Anthony De Robertis. So Anthony uh, started off with a strike, and Forey just matched that strike. It will be De Robertis and Forey. The loser goes home. The winner goes on to face Thomas Coco in the final, and they must beat Thomas twice to win this tournament. So we could have either one more game after this or two, and we'll see how that goes. That's the way double elimination match play works. And again, you can follow the bracket. If you go to the NEBA Facebook page, you'll see the live scoring link. One of the tabs on there is the actual bracket, uh, the, the dynamically updated live bracket. So you can go see how everybody did as they made their way through the bracket. And now Chris is right up against this ball return. Look at how far right he is. And he's trying to pipe it absolutely straight up the lane here. We are on the 2023 Masters pattern right now. It's 46 feet, 1.7 to 1, 28, 28 mils. And beautiful shot there by Chris for a ring 10. No thank you. For a beautiful shot there. And there's a lot of dry on the first two or three boards, almost sparking dry, Stephen. And then there's a lot of oil further down, right? Because it's obvious it's 46 feet. Uh, yeah. Um, I really haven't seen too many righties play this far yet. That actually looked like the perception was really good. Um, I know at least on the left, you know, we saw a couple of shots from Coco kind of look like someone kicked it. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, 46 it just spark, feet. It sparks off that dry if you're not careful, right? It just, it's oh, so yeah. dry. If you throw it to it too early, it just bangs Brooklyn. Yeah. Um, and the, the first pattern was a lot like that, too further down lane like if you weren't far left or right and you got the ball to the crack like down lane it almost wouldn't go in right it wouldn't, um, wouldn't make the corner so it's very strange the way it, it, it broke down and, and this morning of course was short with a couple of very sparky dry boards outside too so that was kind of interesting and uh the way that worked out uh, on the short and of course thomas coco making a mockery of the qualifying shoots 291 over and the cut, by the way, was minus. <laughs> the yeah. cut was minus 17, and you had a guy 291 over. Now that's bowling. That's 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 matched up. So there you go. And he's in the final. And he's in the finals, as he should be. And here's De Robertis, like that. And, and he banks it off the corner. And you saw a little, that's where an example of that friction, too much friction. It bounces off the corner too early and goes and can't get to the pocket. So. It's it's so tricky, you know. It's like it's not just flat across. It's not just you know like red square or something like that. It's there is dry to work with, but it's very tricky dry. You've got to really know what you're doing. Yeah, and he, um, I think he put fresh surface on his bowling balls before the match because you can put fresh That's surfaces legal, on. Yeah, every round rounds. is a new. It's a, everything is a new round, so you're allowed to change surfaces between matches, unlike the normal Neba bracket where you're not. Right. De Robertus converts this to tie it up. Once again, losers bracket action. The winner goes on to face Thomas Coco in the final. And the it almost feels like a home. step ladder. In a way, it is, except you got to win twice. So right. You know, so. And no problem there on the cover. So no troubles there. And it doesn't matter who's A and who's B because they both have 20 in the first. So there we go. Yeah, we had seven games of qualifying. Started at 9 o'clock. You know, we use one lane courtesy now. So that got done, you know, 12.30, maybe maybe 1 o'clock or something like that, I would say. Not too late. No, know. it wasn't very late. I and mean. Then, then we only had to oil, what, 18 lanes or something for the finals. So the oiling went pretty fast, and we went into it. So here we are with two matches left. We're going to be out of here at, you know, reasonable time, 6.30, whatever. I can remember uh, some double eliminations going much later into the night, <laughs> uh, you know, and uh, this is going to be more, much more reasonable. De Robertis, left lane, gets it out to the dry, turns it up, 
You look at the surface he's got on that stuff. He, I think he's got everything at about 360. Oh. That or he's using, you know, out-of-the-box pads. Yeah. You know. You know really sharp, yeah, sharp new pads that are cutting hard. Mm -hmm. Actually. I got to get me some of those. I, I, I need to get something really dull. I never get, could get anything like that dull. I think I needed it today. Definitely in the finals I needed it. Yeah, a 46 feet. There's not a lot of an opportunity for balls to really slow down. You know, and if they do slow down and they slow down through more like the front and the middle part, they almost like back up and almost hydroplane through the spot. So, Thank you, Wayne Howe, for checking in. 431 over for seven games did Nate Purchase shoot uh, earlier. He had yesterday shot two 300 games. <laughs> Uh, just stunning, stunning bowling by Nate. And then he lost. He lost in the finals. It came down to a uh, uh, a one ball roll off for Nate to win the title, and uh, he needed. He strikes the first time, and his opponent matches him. And then he goes uh, two eight, and then his opponent strikes to lose the tournament. So they tied in the final match, and then they're coming down a one ball roll off after the guy shoots four hundred and thirty. He was three hundred and fifty over for five. So it would have easily been Two, six, a, 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 a NEBA record, or uh, not a record, but a uh, uh, certainly high for the year. I mean, you know, that's, yeah. that's usually going to win every high block, you know, for the year. So just amazing bowling by Nate. And what a, what a player he's become. Shout out to Andrew Hall. Finished top 12 down in the regional, down in Maryland. And Hunter. to Hunter Kempton, top five. In the RPI down in Florida, great showing down there. Shoots 250 to get himself in the cut. Yep. Here is Forey. That's that clone, right? Yep. Buckets. Goes through the break point and buckets. Yeah, so that touchy. ball was like still trying to almost true up as it exited the pattern and like never started changing direction before it was over. Right, right. Tight match through three. Yeah, man. They've all been close. Sometimes it's just one mistake, you know what I mean? Like uh, we thought De Robertis had made his mistake last match, and Brandon almost made him pay. But uh, just key that key split in the second shot in the tenth. When they're this gave, hard, gave the uh, gave the uh, gave the count back to him. Yeah. When they're this hard, I mean, and you know, people want it a little bit. You really can't take getting eight or nine for granted like you would. Oh, no. Absolutely right. That's right. Oh, Forey sneaks out the 2-8. Here we go. Shout out to Janine Forey. Hi, Janine. Saw you on the, the stream there. Hello. Great to have you online here. And thanks for everybody for tuning in. We're here at Auburn. Bolero Auburn. Thanks to Jenna. Recent new mother, Jenna. With... Uh, their new baby, her and uh, Troy Labrie. Congratulations to those folks. And uh, here in the losers bracket for the Neba Masters, points count one and a half for this tournament, Stephen. So it's like a major. Uh, so any uh, points you make, making the cut or whatever, count one and a half. And uh, Forey, hot and heavy in the senior race, but also in the regular race for the bowler of the year. Before he taking his time, straight up the piker. Gets it up, turn up, another bucket. And not get it to make the corner. I think somebody, I think somebody uh, down there a uh, little too razz him a little bit. Yeah, we got some open bowling here in the right. And, uh, see what's going on there. It was like about. perfect timing. You heard it. Of course. Well, there was a guy bowling earlier who threw it about 40 out of the 60 feet. Then it would land with a huge thump. And uh, it caught me a couple of times because I was bowling up here. You see what he does and after uh, the thump? Oh, he, turns, he like turns around, right? Oh, no, he, he yeah. does this little, like, uh, the, the, the spinneroo in the, the air. Safe, the safety dance, I think. Yeah, there you go. And Forey, no trouble on the two-pin. And we are nibbling away at this. And right now, on paper, De Robertus with a two-pin lead. Let's see what he can do. 
And it is Foray on the left score, and De Robertis up on the right. And two pin match going in. Loser goes home, winner goes on to face Thomas Coco. And they'll have to beat Thomas twice for this title. Nice to see Nathan Russell-Joy down from Canada here with us. Both Kagamosers make the cut. Randy and Colby. Yep. Congratulations. Jay Matthew makes it. Joey Transu misses by six. That's father and son. Didn't make it. Jeremy Melito misses by five. Oh. Got it there early again. And gets it out there, but it doesn't overreact. It behaves and turns right up to the pocket. Tony Renaud, 63, only missed by 40, really, you know. It's, it's so easy <laughs> to get into trouble on this. Automatic high game pots we had today. Mm -hmm. So every everybody was automatically entered into the pots. We paid three spots every game. And none of my 220 or 230s got me any money, but that's okay because I made the cut. Mm-hmm. We had, uh, there was no special cuts today. We had um, two seniors make it, Forey and Solomini, and two supers, myself and Tim Elsis. Uh, and there would have been checks for uh, the, the specials. Uh, and I think we probably paid a check to Cheryl Pape. I'd have to double check that. Um, you gave a, I think you gave at least one. There was out one of extra the check. Yeah, one out number. of the. Bure Mimilito, I believe, got an out of the, out of the cut check just mm -hmm. because of the one and five, right? We wanted to pay the regular ratio, so. Yep. Mr. Robertus. Feels like quite a while since he threw his last shot. Am I right about this? He <laughs> took his time <laughs> after the last and, one. And there is the same 8-10 that Foray just left last match. Yeah, I was just thinking to that. To lose to Coco. And that was just late off the pattern. And that was actually, like, left. left. Like, it was left yeah, he did get front. it left in the soup, yeah, and it, it just doesn't make the corner. Yeah, well, there's so much there. If you pull it into the into the oil, it's going to just go long on you. Yeah, you get you miss right, and it's on the beak, and you miss left, and it's a bucket, right, or a, or a, or a, or worse. You know? and that's a cliff for you. And it, the cliff is only defined in like a four or five board range. Right, you know, from like. Five, four, three, two, one. You know, five, five, four, three, right in there, right? Yep. That's where the cliff is. So it's crazy. Yeah. Tournaments coming up. We have October 21st is the DJBT Youth Tournament at Somerset Lanes in Massachusetts. October 21st and 22nd is the Somerset Singles event. That is another Paul Forey event. We'll be cutting down from 48, I believe, to 32. So you're definitely going to want to be there on the 9 a.m. squad at Somerset if you are in the Paul Forey. And we had everybody, I think, who showed up in Manchester for the 9 a.m. squad. Yeah, everybody made it. Made it. That everyone, yep. Yeah. Where's Forey? Can he stay clean and keep his lead? Fed it there a little bit more. He gets it up to the pocket at least. But a flat 10 could not get the Farkle, as it were. And, guys, 11-18 is the non-champs at EP, and 11-19 is the Tournament of Champions at EP. So mark those down. And then for Thanksgiving, don't forget the Northeast Megabucks Tournament coming up. Have your turkey and head over to Chicopee. November is a big month. November is a big month. There you have squads the regional, on. too. Yeah, they, that's right. When is that? Uh, it's the week before the. Uh, so the week before the. No, nope, we got to we got to the TOC. Last year it was before this year it's flipped. So the uh, TOC and the regional weekends are flipped this year. So if the TOC is on the nineteenth, though. Um. When is? Well, no, the week after that's Thanksgiving, isn't it? So the Mega Buck starts on the twenty third. So 11th so and 18th. 12th is the regional. So 11th and 12th. So the regional is the weekend before Neva. Right. Okay. Last year was after. Last year was, okay, that, that's what you mean by flipped. Okay, yep. thanks. So the regional is not on the schedule, I don't even believe. So there's a regional at East, East Providence, 
coming up, a regular kids regional coming up on October 11th and 12th. And then there's Neba, the 18th and 19th, excuse me, the 21st and 22nd. And then there's, um, oh, that's October, sorry. 18th and 19th is non-champs and champs at EP. So back to back at EP, and then we're at Chicopee for the Megabucks. Turn up, there's a strike. The second strike of the match, and gets it to turn off the corner. So touchy to try to get it to make the corner there. And Forey now with the nine pin lead because of the open by De Robertus. Anthony De Robertus, allegedly his second tournament, am I right? Uh, yes. And you're on the PBA site and it's not listed, or is it? Um, September, what? September, October, no. Yeah, it's not well, listed. So yeah, it's not listed. It's probably talk, in the background. Talk, where to, our, the players yeah, talk to our buddy Russ. Get that on the get that on the schedule there, I'm buddy. I'm not even gonna start with that one. There you go. But uh, Justin Alves and uh, Dennis have their I-91 doubles next week in Chicopee too. Oh, that's right. That's it's right. Uh, kind of a kind of a twist to it because you can uh, bowl with your partner, which will be on your pair, but then you can pay the same entry fee to bowl with somebody else that you would have liked to bowl. The good thing about that is that money, there's no lineage associated with it, so it increases the prize fund for everybody. Is that on Sunday or Saturday, Sunday? How that is that a work? Sunday, yep. Sunday only? Sunday, yep, okay, October 8th. Okay, interesting. And one of the squads for that? Oh, I don't even know. I don't think I'm bowling it, actually. So oh, Okay. Well, thanks for calling that out. That's the – Justin Alves is, of course, the new NEBA tournament director. Yep. And he still runs the I-91 tournaments with Dennis. That's at Chickabee, I assume. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Robertus strikes on the right lane, and this would be to regain the lead if he could get this one. This is a match which is molasses going uphill in January. <laughs> Two people who certainly <laughs> like to uh, take their time. lengthen it out. We're in the sixth frame. I'm trying to think of other things to talk about. Actually, I, we had Nathan Hughes here earlier. I was trying to get him on the live stream. He... Uh, is the journalist for the PBA, and he's just kind of passing through. He was up at the uh, league championships where our friends Parker Bone and got it there. And that's a good shot, and gets the slap ten, and that's a double. And there he goes, and gets the lead by one. And I think both these guys are happy. There's no shot clock. At least it isn't qualifying. At least the tournament's almost over. Yeah. Well, that's all right. I think, I think Mike Lichstein might have the, the record, but that's okay for taking his time. I, I, not that I shouldn't call the kettle black or anything, you know what I'm <laughs> saying? So, you know, I take my time too, so don't it's we all? You can always find a little humor in it, you know. I think that's okay. Oh, there you go. That's all right. Big shot by Forey. So down, last one down flat by ten. one right now. Yep. He's finally getting it to turn the corner. Can he get it to strike? That's out on the dry. And too high. And gets him to fall. <laughs> gets the 7 10 to collapse. And what That's a that huge cliff break. though. Like That's the, flat he ten. Worked, oh, he worked the cliff hard. But it laid off for him and he gets the strike, matching D. Robertus's double. Well, oh, he's gonna re rack, looks like. Not to hijack anything, but uh, my series actually starts in November as well uh, at EP. So EP's got That's a lot right. of events. This is the major I.O., right? Yep. What, tell us about that. I mean, so just giving scratch bowlers another option to bowl. You know, we have our plethora of handicap events. And, um, you know, Neva's always been, you know, the scratch thing to bowl. And just wanted to give, you know, our guys another scratch event to compete in. I like the structure that the guys in Maine made, you know, four games, low stress environment, good money when you win, even if you, you know, you make it, quick days, so. When is that again? November 5th, so November it's going to be four games, uh, cut into the top 16, and first place is guaranteed a 1,000, no matter how many you show up, so. Good 
Good for you. That's great. Yep. That's great. There's a way to get back. Um, obviously, reserve online, uh, our Facebook page and our website, and yeah. go in the link. It's really easy. Major IO, right? Uh, major bowling. Major bowling. Yep. Okay. Good stuff. So, yeah, got it there. Turn up. up and dead flush. Oh. For Forey running it out and give him a good thing I was, good pin thing lead I was right talking. Now. 50, 110, 37. He's got a 19 pin lead as we sit here. Yep. Forey grinding it out. He's my choice to win, and De Robertus is your choice. So, we're both our horses right here. I know. Buddy. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, lots of good stuff to. Uh, Lots of good stuff to uh, to bowl lately. Certainly, you have Semba coming up. Uh, I believe that's the 15th and 16th of October. You have the High Hopes tournament coming up. Um, that's up in uh, Manchester. What are we doing here? Uh, like re another rerack. Yeah, yep. there we go. Um, you do definitely have uh, lots of options on, on on things to bowl, but but I think I'm going to try to hit that doubles. I'm going to. I'm leaving tomorrow to go to North Carolina. I'm going to be there through the week. But if I'm back Saturday, I could actually bowl the doubles on Sunday if I'm back. You know, so I might uh, I might bowl. Not that I'll practice it all this week, of course, but yeah, who needs to do that? It's overrated, this practice. So. Well, while we're fooling around, I'll show you the score. That's Forey on the left. He's got 56, if you will, on the seventh, pacing to 2 teen. And then we have De Robertus on the right, and he's pacing to 197. So a 19-pin lead for Chris Forey. We are playing around with trying to re-rack, whatever we're trying to do here. We're in the eighth frame. I feel like I could have had a child in this time. <laughs> I think I remember, uh, you know, I think the Frisbee was invented after this match started. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, Sorry. I, I think it's, to be honest with you, like I, I, it's two players who kind of see well, very deliberate. what the other ones are doing. Yeah, very deliberate. I don't think it's gamesmanship. I mean, I've seen, you know, yeah, where's Brian Gaskell? What's the record for the longest sing game, single game match? I got to believe that oh, that's loaned by I Lich think Chris Sol when he sat down for about 10 minutes before he threw a shot. Oh, is that right? Yep. Intentionally? Just to, just to rope I don't dope? know yeah. if it was intentional, what was going on. I just remember yes. uh, hearing a, a story good when. there by De DeSantis. Sorry. Great shot. Really? Sorry. I just remember a story of him throwing a shot and just sitting down and letting the moment set in for a minute, and it made it a very long match. There you go. Well. Our bowlers are striking, so. The funny thing is, is one of these bowlers will be in the next match, too. That's right. <laughs> well, Tom Coco certainly is no, uh, no rope-a-dope guy. No. He gets up and throws it. Yep. He shoots 291 over this morning. I, I just I can't get over that. I bowled on it. I shot plus eight. I was very proud of that. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> and I bowl mind. here. <laughs> I it's was like, proud of my plus eight. I ground it out. Trying to make you feel bad. And he's shooting 240s and 250s every game. And I'm like, shake it off. They got it there. And there it's you go. Wow. Beautiful shot there by D. Robertus. Man, this kid is tough. It's a good choice you made there, Stephen. And here's Flory. This is not the final, Dennis. This is the, if you will, the semifinal. This is the loser's bracket. Uh, so the loser here goes home. The winner goes on to face Thomas Coco, but they'll still be in the loser's bracket, so they'll have to beat Coco twice in the final if they want to win. So we could have one or two more games after this. Uh, we will set up only a single live stream. We won't go offline between games if they do have a second game. Because they'll go straight into it. There won't be any... Um, there won't be any uh, practice in between the two games. If we do have a second game, they'll go straight into it. So the last now shot on the lane uh, tripped up the four seven ten. No, the yeah, the four seven ten. Yeah, yeah, that was the uh, got the seven ten to cr to crumble down and we 
Jones Looked a little in. Up here and ring 10 for 40. Oh, fun there. Let's see. What do we got here? 110, 40, so 170. Two, so hold on. 217. And now 40 pacing to 215. It is De Robertus by two right now. That's a 225, actually, because that's in 75, 95, and he goes out 225. Well, he, I, I, I just do if he paces. So okay. right now. Right now he's pacing to 217. He can double for 235, 237 actually, right? Two. 237. Yep. Right. We do math here. Uh oh. And Forey does cover the 10 pin. Forey with a 225 max maximum. So I, I I like to pace and say who's actually ahead right now. So oh, it's, okay. It's two it's two pins up now for De Robertis as we sit here. Um. And, but it is a 225 max for Forey, 237 max for De Robertis. So De Robertis definitely with ball in hand, no matter what Forey does. Would need a double, yeah. so if he misses on either one. That's right. So Forey really has to double here. Yep. Well, if he doubles and then De Robertis goes nine spare nine, it's a tie. So De Robertis will need to fill 19 to win, assuming Chris um, even goes uh, fills 20 here. But this first shot, really important. You can't really lose any more count. No. Pretty good shot. Turn up. Oh, went right through the break point. I think he pushed it a little bit hard. Yeah, Just he a knows little he's bit like fast. It. Yeah, he knows he got a little bit fast on it. So now that's going to give him a maximum of 213. Assuming he converts and strikes, which means that De Robertis will need a mark and a little bit of count. Again, I mean, the pattern's so hard that you double. can't get it for granted. No. Anything can happen here, even on a four-bagger. You see he's opened earlier in the game. He could easily get one light for a 210. Very easy to do. He just, like, pinching it a little bit, and it, like, hydroplanes doesn't backwards. Doesn't take much. Get it into, get it in a board. Push it a little bit, you know, bucket, just like Forey just did. And beautiful cover there by Chris Forey. I shot a lot, at a lot of those today, but the Tempin was standing with it too. Yep. We will need 10 by Chris here to keep any kind of count pressure on De Robertus. But he'll take a re-rack. He's going to try to... Rope a dope it here a little bit, take yeah. a re-rack, so a smart move. He's gonna sit down and take his time, make him think about it. Can't blame him for that move. No. Oop, now no. he's got a sweep. Oh, so he, he didn't even do the uh, full no, set he, of pins, he, he just cycled. did the cycle. So now he's gotta cycle it again. <laughs> I gotta remember that move. That's a good one. Corey needs 10 for 293. De Robertus needs to fill 17, right? Yeah, he needs to fill 17 for the win. Yep. He's right up against the bar return and he's got that the rail right up against his right thigh there. Yep. You can see that. Mm, good looking shot. He says He's like, yep. hands on the hips. Where was that last shot? Where was that? I could have used two of those in the tenth. And now De Robertis just needs to fill. Just needs to fill 17. Chris with a great effort here. De Robertus taking his time. He's going to reset, reload, start over. I think the Mevo is running out of memory. No, I'm kidding. It is Anthony De Robertus. Must fill 17. To beat Chris Forey and move on to bowl Thomas Coco, and he will have to beat Coco twice to win. 
Thanks everybody for tuning in. We're here at Bolero Auburn. Losers bracket of the Neba, Neba Masters. One and a half times the points for this major. Balls away. Pretty good looking shot. Rips the rack and will have to convert a 10 pin now to beat Forey. Lost a pin of count. He would need this an eight to win by one. Funny thing is, it's still not a gimme. I mean, getting oh, seven is no, very no, no. easy. Nothing, right. Well, the spare isn't a gimme, and neither is eight. <laughs> it's so easy. I'm telling you, this is these guys are making it look a lot easier than it is. Once again, all the youth players out there, October 21st, DJ BT and October 21st and 22nd, our regular singles event, both at Somerset, Massachusetts. 11-18 is the non-champs. 11-19 is the tournament of champions. The Mega Bucks is over Thanksgiving. We have Stevens Tournament coming up on November 5th. We have a regional coming up on November 11th at EP. We have every tournament under the sun on every weekend. This The doubles this weekend, I-91. Mm, can't keep up with it. No. Dear Robert, just must have it. And good looking shot. No problem there. Got it. And now must fill eight. And how long will this take? <laughs> I mean, it, this is. I mean, I'm all. I'm all for you know people doing what they need to do. But at some point, it gets a little ridiculous. Yeah, you know. I mean, everybody has a right to do what they do on the lane, but it doesn't knock the pins down, and, and you still got to do it one way or another. Well, you know, you got to do what you got to do to win. I mean, you know, if you want to be deliberate, you want to take your time, I think, you know, that's something you got to know about your own game, and, and you do it. You know, proof's in the pudding. He's about to get to the final against Coco, so, you know, can't knock it too hard. It's working for him. He's taking his time. Robertus needs eight to win. Seven to tie, eight to win. Shots away to the pocket. Oh my God. And how about seven? How about a tie? Okay. <laughs> Did anybody ever think? If anybody was ever going to uh, uh, nominate this match for longest match, it just it might have just won because we're now in now we're in extra frames. I had to say something. It was a bucket. I had to at say two, something. Two four five for a tie at two thirteen. What a match! Now what is it? It's one ball roll off, right? Dave Kipperman here. One ball roll off, and Forey will start on the left lane. It is a one ball roll off. Here we go. This match got, just got really interesting. It was interesting the whole way, and that bucket, I thought it might come off the corner and, and carry it. I'd be a little afraid right now because they struck a lot during the match. They sure did. You know, <laughs> what's the over under on this? I ain't no, no. No, in minutes. What's the over under? I almost, funny thing was, I almost started a, a timer on my <laughs> phone to. See overtime. how long it took. It's an overtime. Chris Forey, overtime. One game, one ball, roll off. Good looking shot. He gets that one, baby. So there's one. Gets that one up to the pocket and carries it. He knows it. Always a little excitement, at least. Tap for Brandon. Great shot there. 
Got to give El Jefe the, the clap. Here we go. The winner gets to face Thomas Coco, standing right behind us watching. He must beat Coco twice to win the Neba Masters. This is event number 1004, by the way. We had a great time at event number 1000. There was cake. There were shammies. There was posters. 341 entries. It was awesome. Alex Aguiar wins his 28th title. Lots of great things happened down at Callahan's Bolorama. Really good. De Robertis must match. Must strike. Soft shot. Gets it back, and a ring 10 is going to send Chris Forey on to the final against Tom Coco. What a match. Congratulations, guys. We're goofing on them on the time, but great, great bold match. you got to admit, Stephen, these guys really put on a show and it was good. Uh, made some wonderful shots on a very, very challenging pattern. And De Robertus did what he had to do. He put the ball there and was not rewarded, leaves the ring 10. So we are going to jump off now, guys. Next round will be the like and share round for one of two bowling balls from Island Supply, Island Bowling Supply, and we'll be right back in a few minutes. We're going to move the Mevo down to 15 and 16, and we will see you back in a minute. Thanks, guys.